Right now, local <laughs> restaurant, <laughs> restaurant Garduño says uh, Mexico is inside Fiesta Rancho and they're celebrating the fall uh, weather by inviting guests, uh, or the fall weather rather, by inviting guests onto their beautiful patio. Perfect time of year to dine al fresco while enjoying their mm. sizzling fajitas and mm. sipping on a margarita. Yes, and here with some of the delicious dishes you'll find at Garduño's, Matthew uh, Gobel, beverage manager at Fiesta Rancho, and also sous chef Jesus Lopez. Good morning to you. Gentlemen. Both. Hello. Fantastic and to meet Buenos everyone this morning. Yes, yes. yes. seniors. <laughs> a gorgeous, gorgeous spread that you brought in for us today. Yes. Oh, beautiful. So uh, we love that you have this outdoor dining and you have some delicious dishes to share with us. What are some of the specials that you have going at the restaurant right now? Ah, actually, uh, what we have currently going on is we have our Blue Agave Cantina. The Blue Agave Cantina is our bar that's uh, attached to Garduño's. Mm -hmm. So we actually are open every day starting at noon, and we have many different items starting at $4, working their way up to $8. Great price point, amazing food. We've brought some of our favorites right here for you. Wow. We have wow. our giant tacos. Look at all You're that color. It's beautiful, isn't it? Massive. Right? We have our traditional street tacos, and right here, incredibly fascinating, this is our Cuban flatbread. This is our take on a Cuban sandwich and a pizza if they came together. It's one of my favorites. In fact, if I uh, keep eating them, I won't be able to fit into this coat too much <laughs> See, this is why I can't work in restaurants. <laughs> oh, man, I love it in the front house. In the back house, I've eaten all day. My goodness. Uh, and, of course, naturally, when you're going to have something this tasty and this delicious, you are going to require Wash some adult beverages, yeah. of course. Oh. So. Some of what we're known for, we have our mango and jalapeno margarita and our house margarita as well. Awesome. But talking about that amazing patio over at Blue Agave and Garduño's, we also have our sangreas at sundown. Ooh. And these are just for you, my friends. Oh, we I have, love it. We have our white wine. We have our red wine. And we have a flavor of the month. Oh. The flavor of the month this month, in keeping with our New Mexico roots in Garduño's, is actually... Prickly pear. Oh my goodness! Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm not used to being offered a dark or a light sangria. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Options. Cheers. Options are missing. <laughs> it's you know, Wednesday. The, it was the first alcoholic beverage I ever had. It was at 24, and it was a sangria. It was, uh, but it wasn't great. Mm. I'm ready for greatness. Mm. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Yum. White wine in this. Mm-hmm. Mm, oh, that's very great. good. Mm, that's fantastic. Fruit. I love that. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, so uh, uh, we we're, we've got the drinks. We've got the specials. You also serve lunch at Blue Agave. With Blue Agave, right? Yeah, we, we actually open at 12 o'clock mm -hmm. at uh, Blue Agave. Mm -hmm. we, get, uh, we actually serve uh, all kinds of types of food. Uh, we have a ch uh, chile verde burrito. Mm -hmm. We got street, the street tacos. We got uh, the uh, barbecue sliders. We got a lot of really good items in that. You have great <laughs> items. Now, Garduño's opens at 4 p.m. 4 p.m., that is restaurant. correct. One of the things you're really known for are these fajitas. Am I right? Yes. Tell me about your fajitas. <laughs> our fajitas, are, uh, we marinate them for 24 hours okay. with our fresh, uh, our fresh recipes here. Okay. We have the fresh orange juice, oh. fresh lemon juice squeezed, fresh uh, lime squeezed. Notice the words fresh are being used. <laughs> as opposed to, hey, this Good stuff point. was juiced about a week and a half ago. We got it from this food prep service. No, you're doing it fresh, fresh. in house. Fresh. I love that. And yeah, that's, that's actually one of the amazing things about Garduños. It's not actually Mexican food so much as it is New Mexican, Mexican. food. Yeah. What sets us mm. apart and makes us different is our use of these fresh spices mm. and herbs. And uh, I believe Chef Jesus here is going to uh, plate some uh, fajitas for you. Oh, it'll work. <laughs> right it all right, cool. I love this, but you showed me everything that goes in the dish. Yes. And it's all these fresh ingredients. None and of it's out of a can. A little bit of cilantro. Which, fresh can cilantro. Can I take a bite of this? Oh, if you would you like. go straight cilantro? Look uh, at you. Oh, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Man, she's ready to go. So you know, that's not the Ooh. express lunch deal that you guys have. Ooh. Oh, so no. That's just, that was just the garnish for the mm. express lunch. <laughs> yes, you it could be a very small salad if that's what you would like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, can I have a really small salad? Oh, We're hello. cooking with fire. It's happening. And while you're making that, I mean, you said New Mexican, and when I think New Mexico, I think tamales. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. You have holiday tamales. As a matter of fact, we do. We will have a specific date where we'll let everyone know when we're going to be doing our tamales and what flavors we're going to be doing. But we look at starting them probably in the beginning of November. That is holiday season, and we do have amazing tamales. Do people buy these in bulk, I'm assuming? By the dozens. <laughs> by the dozens. And we'll make them fresh for you, or we'll actually freeze them in case you'd like to eat them throughout the entire year the way I do. You have to plan. You do. This is perfect because I can stop by if I have a lot of relatives coming mm -hmm. into town for the mm -hmm. holidays and get a big load of them, put them in the freezer, and then have them ready. They're ready yep. to go. You gotta, I love it. you got to treat the holiday tamales there like, uh, like it's uh, the, the Girl Scout cookies. 
Because they only sell <laughs> yeah. them for a certain amount of time. But then you know what? If I can like figure out a way to freeze them, Ooh, love good. them all year long. <laughs> all of a sudden, you can it's create like your own black really market of Garduño's uh, tamales. I'm not saying we do. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Watch Jesus. It has the flip. Show him the flip, Jesus. Woohoo! Oh wow! Look at that. See, oh, I yeah. try to do that at home. Good job. And then they all get inside the grill. And I have to try yes, to clean them up. Yes. It's terrible. You know, something I love about your patio dining experience is that mm -hmm. on Friday and Saturday nights, you have entertainment, a little ambiance. We do. We actually have a live solo guitarist every, uh, guitarist every Friday and Saturday wow. night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sets a beautiful ambiance. And with this amazing weather that we're having right now, exactly. it's the absolute best time to be out there. Awesome. Yes. Gentlemen, it's great having you. That smells fantastic. And we are going to demolish that during the break. <laughs> we are. It's great having you. Thank and you so much. And don't forget the cilantro. You. Thank you. <laughs> to have some of these delicious dishes for yourself, visit Gardenos inside Fiesta Rancho. And don't forget the express lunch specials at Blue Agave. If you'd like to find out more, the website and phone number are up on your screen. It smells so good in here. It's not Oh, fair. yeah. It, you know what? The fajita smell just hit, didn't it? <laughs> <sighs> it's lovely. That's how you know they're ready. More, to come, more to come on the blend in just minutes. <laughs>